So hello and welcome to online study for you, a complete placement solution. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Tech Mahindra interview experience. That means what are the way in which Tech Mahindra generally conduct their interviews? Okay, what are the steps? What are the procedure? And what are the mostly asked questions that all we are going to discuss in this video? And also one voice interview experience also we are going to discuss it up here. Okay. So all the things will be covered up in this video only. So please be with me till the end of this video. And this will surely going to help you out in a very, very, very critical way. If you are appearing for Tech Mahindra interview in the recent times. Okay. So let's start the interview without wasting any time. So the interview experience would be like this in the Tech Mahindra. As you already know, if you have been qualified or called up for the Tech Mahindra interviews, then you would have already been passed the rest of their three or four rounds, whatever you count, starting from the, uh, you can say, cognitive assessment and then essay writing, then the technical assessment and the coding part. And you would also have to pass a round which is called as a communication round. If you have been passed all the three or four rounds, then you will directly move to the interview round. And generally, Tech Mahindra will conduct their interview in their offices, whichever will be the nearest office of Tech Mahindra. From your location, they will call you at that particular place for your interview. So while going for the interview, you should have at least maintain few of the documentation, what they ask you while you have to go for the interview. And all this thing will be provided you through the communication mail that Tech Mahindra will sell you when they send you the interview invitation. Along with that, they will also give you what instruction that what are the documents that you need to carry. So please be sure before going for the interview so that at the time of the interview you do not face any problem or anxiety at that particular time now when you enter at the take minor office and they will generally uh, take your registration up there and then ask you to sit in a queue there are generally two rounds of interview that will happen in the take minor the technical round tr round and the next would be hr round now both will be separate if you clear tr then they will send you for hr otherwise you will not move to the hr so that whenever after tr if they ask you to wait for the hr that means you have been selected for the tr only then they will ask you to wait for the hr okay and at the time of hr after hr they generally take your documents okay and then ask you to leave for the day and after a few days you will get your result so this is the procedure now let's get deep dive into the each of the interview round and let's discuss what are the kind of problems generally they ask in the interview. So generally the Tech Mahindra TR round will be happen in between 20 minutes. You would say around 15 to 20 minutes. In some cases it will also go around 30 minutes but general case I would tell you it will be around 20 minutes and HR round will be around 10 minutes. So if you accumulate all of the interviews, total interview round will be of 30 minutes if you qualified for the both of the interviews, okay. Now in the TR round, generally the very first question would be your introduction, that is very much required. Now in TR, they, they generally do not ask you the HR question, so in TR, they generally focus on the technological side of the problem. And one thing you have to know, whatever resume you will submit, that will affect your interview very much okay because generally they are going to ask from the your resume only your project are going to be asked in detail your projects then the languages coding languages that you give okay apart from that your core subjects now it will depend let's say i am the csc guy so from me the question will be asked from the my core subject like computer network tvms oops and other things as well Let's say someone will be from the some core of the departments, electrical engineering example, I would say then whatever the core subject would be of their department only a question will be generally been asked from there on. Okay. Then the coding question will be asked to everyone. Okay. Generally the coding question that is being asked in the interview would be on easier side you would say that I have been known from various of the students who have given their interviews. So to all whom th I have asked them yet, the interview question you would say, the coding question would be an easier side, like, like the generic question, prime number question, Fibonacci question, Armstrong number question. These are the questions swapping the two digits without using the third variable. So these are the few classes of questions. Just they want to test that you are able to code or not. 
so that's why i think they are just giving you some simple problem okay and this will be all around about you can say of the tr round now we can deep dive into all of the subject like what they are generally ask in the core subject look the question since the tech mahindra when you go to the interview there will be different different panel for the tr also and for the hr also for the tr there will be tens of the panel as i have already given my tech mahindra interview in the previous time so i would also share the interview experience there on so when i have given going to give the interview so i have to uh, ask to wait in a queue and then when i have been called for the interview so i have been saying there are multiple different different cabins and each cabin there is a one tr person generally one person is taking tr and then if you qualified for the tr then you have to go sent to the next cabin there you have to wait for the hr round okay so the tr portion will depend upon the interviewer also but heavily i would say 90% of your interview will turned up what you have already been discussing or written in your resume you have to go with your resume they will ask for your resume at the time when you submit your resume you have to ask to wait in a queue and your resume will be submitted to the tr whoever will ask, will be taking your interview and he is scanning your resume once and then the question will be on that particular part i will tell you one experience of a guy he has written multiple of the subject in his resume like computer networks operating system all of them so tr is making sure that he is asking few question from each of the topic now they do not go very depth in the core subject that i have seen because they have limited time to take the interview but they will ask you the very famous like in the famous they ask you generally acid properties normalization okay this kind of problem they are generally asked in the oops they generally ask the four pillars and something question like this software engineering also they have asked me some of the sdlc model okay so if you know all that subject then you are aware of what i am asking you okay so the same thing you could also consider for the core branch student let's say someone is from electrical engineering branch then whatever will be his core subject you have to at least read that because generally they are going to ask you your core subjects also so this is the kind of question they are going to ask you in the tr round now the, in the project they also go into very depth if they really like your project or if he has already been idea about that particular kind of project that you are currently making so they can go in depth of your project so please make sure that whatever project you are applying or giving in your resume you are pretty very much clear about that project okay because they are going to deep dive into your project and project will play a very crucial role like when i am giving my interviews in the tech mahindra most of the you could say 50% of the time will go in the project discussion only and then for the 50% rest of the time of the interview they have been asked me other other type of question so the project uh description should require a very important valuation in your interview okay your introduction should also be the very crisp and short okay because interview duration is if your interview would be only 20 minutes then you he cannot give you 2 to 3 minute just to introduce yourself so your introduction will be 1 minute to 1.5 minute you would take it around like that particular time to prepare your introduction in that way only, okay so this is all about the tr round now if you have been qualified if you have qualified for the tr round then you move for the hr round okay but before moving to the hr round if anyone have any doubt that how sir i will prepare for this kind of uh question let's say if you are not your tech mentor interview is not currently but you are about to give your interview in the recent time or you are just preparing for your interviews or companies then you have doubt in the mind that how i will prepare all the all these of thing how i will prepare core subject how i will prepare languages data structures and algorithm how i will prepare these thing so for that just give me a minute i will show you a very important thing as you can see achievers 2.5 bag which is been uh, launched just to help you guys out in your prepare, placement preparation since the placement preparation are going on for the 24 25 25 and 26 batch student in the recent time and online study for you have been a very great opportunity to prepare for these placement all the companies placement in a one go by taking this achievers 2.5 batch you could see what we provide generally in this batch if you i zoom it out a bit you can see the features you can read it from here on or if i would say you something you can see what the already content that we have provided you the programming lecture for the these all other company you would say 865 video already been provided to you and we also conducting the per week a week five day live class for you guys and when the exam will 
be nearer to you so for that we also conduct extra live classes for you guys so that you will not face any difficulty in your preparation so the live class feature is only available with this batch this is the very first time that we have take out this quite a great opportunity for you to enroll to this particular course so that your uh, preparation would be much 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 good as compared to what you could do without this okay so please check out this course once the link will be you will find in the description section okay now so this is all about the tr section i have told you what they ask in the what way they ask few tips also i have shared with you i have also shared with you the achievers 2.5 batch through which you can prepare for all of this now let's move to the hro so if you qualify for the tr generally they move you to hr otherwise generally they ask you to leave for the day okay that means you haven't qualified for the tr now in the hr many have conception this uh, misconception uh, uh, conception that if you qualified for the hr that means you are selected no i have told you a story of my friend he is giving an interview with me only okay and i am selected for the hr round but he has been rejected even after the hr round and i have seen many of the students have rejected in the hr round in the tech mahindra wali and in other companies also hr is also a rejection round you could also get rejected in the hr so please take hr very seriously it is just a 10 to 15 minute of a interview and this i have told you what generally they ask they call you for the hr round there is a hr seated below he will again ask you for your introduction up there because he is the new guy so now you have to introduce yourself so the introduction will be first here also introduction here also intro now he will ask you some managerial question from your project now what are these managerial question i would say so they can generally ask you is your project is a group project or a single project if it is a group project then how what is your role in that if it is a single then why you have decided to go as a, do a single project why are you not comfortable with the group working with a group so whatever will your will be your situation at that particular point the question will be around that that means how you manage your project look the coding in your project is one thing that is being covered in the tr round generally but the other aspect of the project that how you will manage how you have managed your project if any difficulty will be faced how you cover up that okay how you coordinate with the team project if you have done any team project so these thing is being asked from your project part in the hr interview after that they generally ask you that will you able to relocate then obviously you have to say yes they also ask you will you will you have any other offers or not so whatever you will be your situation you could answer along this but my recommendation is this always tell him no i do not have any offer yet this is the first opportunity of the offer that i could get from you guys okay this will be the safer side otherwise more question will arise but it will depend upon everyone self in which he is you are comfortable you could go with that way only okay now after that the hr question would be like this that uh would you know the policy of the tech mahindra that we have a two year of service bond or something like this they are going to ask you these kind of things also and they are, then they are going to ask you are you agree with this then you would have to say obviously yes they are also are going to ask you would you are able to do the night shift and all these things so all this general hr question what generally they could ask they are going to ask you and also you should know some of the insights of tech mahindra why it is so because sometime they gonna ask you do you know who is the ceo of tech mahindra do you know what the current project we are working on so how you will know that go to tech m website go to tech m website you could read before going to the interview you could read some of the highlights of the tech mahindra that what they are currently doing in that particular financial session what are their achievements in the recent time what are the new technology that they are working on like what is my knowledge currently that tech mahindra is working on the ai project very much okay so you could tell him that you should all in also know that tech mahindra what is the full uh, full form of tech mahindra and also you you should know what is the establishment year of this so these thing would matter a very much in the hr interview because this will resemble to the hr that you are keen to join about this company that's why you have researched so much about this company because if you do not know anything about the company that you are currently applying to then it means to um, uh, the 
as are that you are not so much interested in the company even if you have but you have to show to them the hr interview is generally to show your eagerness to work towards the company okay because you have cleared all the technical aspects so you are eligible to work but in the hr they are going to see whether you are actually interested to work on this company or not okay so this is the time to show your eagerness to work on that company whatever they are asking always give the positive answer in your in your aspect okay this is the key point while you are giving the hr interview the one of my friend that i have said you is being rejected in the tech mahindra they are not compiling with the answer that actually expected by the hr the hr is asking would you able to relocate then he would actually answer okay no no i would like to work on my near the city i would not able to go outside so much okay this is the problem so that would create a negative effect okay so always be positive in the hr interview always answer the positive words in the hr interview and always be able to interact because your interaction is also very important in the interviews okay so always try to interact with the interview so these are the few key points that i want to share with you in the hr round now after the hr round they would ask to wait for some time and after that generally those who are selected they are going to ask you to submit your documents okay the copy of the documents okay so this thing would happen and after 4 to 5 days or generally in a week you would have your result of the tech mind whether you are selected or not okay and then the processor will follow like letter of intent or for letter joining letter that thing will follow on but the interview experience would be like the same for everyone okay the tr interview now the hr interview right i have covered all of the thing that is being required by you in the tech mind interview okay so any still if you have still any doubt left regarding this interview you can ask in the comment section if you really like our effort please like the video uh, subscribe the channel if you haven't yet and please check out the achievers 2.4 badge you will find the link in the description section okay so this is all from my side for this video if you have any still doubt left ask in the comment i would like to cover all of your doubt as soon as possible okay so thank you thank you everyone for joining in this video we are going to meet in some other video